Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our Correct Tech New Horizons Season 2. Now, I am actually upgrading or crafting up a couple transformers because we are going to need some IV power here relatively soon. Um, I did want to upgrade this, and I managed to craft up another dynamo, an EV one now. Um, and I'm just going to do that. So this is actually getting 8,000 U per tick as opposed to the uh, 2,000 we were giving it. Uh, we are producing plenty of power. We're actually voiding a lot of power because this is full. Um, so I was like, might as well, let's get this crafting up faster for that. Now, uh, you may notice this is actually, uh, was out of superheated steam. Uh, the large heat exchanger got a maintenance issue and that was lowering the, the amount of steam that it was producing. So this actually emptied out and I, I noticed it was like getting low and I was like, what's going on over here? And, uh, yeah, it was cause of a maintenance issue. Um, I don't know. The IC2 coolant didn't seem to be dropping, but uh, it was definitely producing less steam. So I don't think anything would have blown up, but you know, just something to uh, to watch out for. But other other than that, this is running perfectly fine. Uh, we don't have these automated yet so when those go um i'll have to manually do that i should probably just do maybe even uh i could even just throw them like in here with a couple conduits and a filter maybe i'll do that and eventually i'll Probably, I guess I could. You know, we could probably get a interface over here with uh, crafting card. Can we? Yeah, we can do crafting cards, right? Yeah. Yeah, just 1k basic card. That is not a problem. I couldn't remember, but uh, no, we got the we got these patterns, and they're way more difficult to craft up. So. All right, maybe I'll do that, and I could just throw it, throw it like right here, the interface, and we should have. I mean, that's running a lot of cable, but at this point, <laughs> yep, we're at eight channels there. That's a bit annoying. At eight channels there. All right, I'll just have to upgrade these. Um, most of this stuff is automated, so it's not that bad. Although, nope, I can't. That's actually 32 channels. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have quite a bit of channels, actually. Uh, so 32, 22, 30, yeah, which I, I don't mind. I think it's kind of fun having lots and lots of channels. Uh, maybe I can... Uh, well, the thing is, a lot of this stuff I'm going to move. So I'm like, yeah, do, how much? I just haven't got around to it because I haven't built, you know, extra places because that is a lot of work. And I haven't even finished this. I really need to get this finished as well. Ah, so much to do. <laughs> I need some helpers to... Help me do the cosmetic stuff, because that is definitely the very last thing I do if I am busy. All right. Did that just do four while I was talking? That's going up pretty quick. Um, all right. Um, so we got that. And uh, the reason I wanted a, another transformer is because I need to... 
figure out what we're doing here. Um, probably I'm gonna mess with that. Um, this will probably be replaced with a distillation tower at some point. I'm thinking though, if we maybe, oh, maybe I need another one of these. Thinking. Also, these textures are <laughs> messed up. I always had a texture issues with those before. I'm almost thinking I should do two of these. I think I actually have all, uh, I should have all the stuff. Easy. So if I transform this up over here, do I want to mess with that? The question is, do I want to, I kind of want to upgrade this. This one can actually probably be broken down. I don't really need this at the moment. It's good to have like as a little bit of a backup, but this is producing almost 20,000 EU and that's only producing 6,000. So like, this is just way more efficient. Um, all right, so I'm thinking maybe throw the transformer here, transform up to IV. And then how do I want to deal with this into the bait? That's this is the <laughs> this is the issue trying to figure out how I want to deal with this. Um let's see. So yeah, I need it over here for all the HV stuff. What happens if I like what I would do is transform it down like maybe right here into the EV and now so we don't have to worry about any of this stuff so this would all be IV power hmm and then that I would just move this maybe move this over Maybe that's what I'll do. All right, this is going to take me a second to figure out what we can. I can even... No, I can't, because that's branching off, isn't it? What is that going to, anyway? Is that my... Oh, that's my platinum line. Right. All right, so... Yeah, let me... Let me figure out where I want to do this. And then... Actually, that's not going to be as easy. I really need to get a lot of this stuff moved, to be honest. Into a permanent location. All right. But if I do the transformer down there, I could branch off maybe here into like a line of ivy machines because we're going to need to craft up a bunch of these ivy machines so where that's a bit close if i do them like here this would be my ivy line Yeah, that's after that, isn't it? Um, I could move this around a little bit. Also, I do want to upgrade this. All right, I got uh, some thinking to do here, as we can see. Um, trying to puzzle out power system is actually, I think it's actually really fun to be honest. Uh, so let me see what I can come up with, and we'll be right back. Okay, I think I have kind of sorted this all out, at least uh, until I can 
get a lot of this cleaned up, which we are getting pretty close to, because now that we can transport IV, IV power, that makes it much easier to transport it long distances. So, yeah, basically just transforming it up with the four amps, sending it down here. Now I have split this a couple ways just to make it a bit easier. Um, I think I am going to break all that down, but uh, not right this second. Um, but uh, yeah, I have a little branch going off here into this old battery buffer, which applies power to all this stuff. And then I'm going to send it down here into that one. And we're also going to branch off there. Now I moved the old extreme battery buffer to here, which is actually kind of giving its own battery to the blast furnace. Um, so when I do upgrade this to Ivy with the two energy hatches, it gives us a little bit of a buffer so I can see if there is, if uh, other machines are running and pulling away from uh, the thing, it doesn't just fail. It has a little bit of a fail safe with that right there. So I think I'm happy with that. And then running this. <clears throat> oh, it's just got to make sure we don't have cables connecting where they shouldn't. And I usually like to make sure everything is properly colored and coded before I hook it up to the actual buffer. So there's no power going down here, so I can make sure that none of this is wrong. Now I just, I did do a backup because as usual, when I was, uh... all right, no explosions, that's good. Uh, as usual, when I was placing these transformers, transforming up, I had it facing the wrong way, blew up half the base. <laughs> so I had to do a backup. Thankfully, it was just like a minute before. Uh, but, all right, there we go. I think that uh, we should be getting power in all these now. All right, we are getting one amp down there. Uh, one minor issue, though, is that we are only sending one amp down here. We are going to upgrade that to four amps. Um, but as we saw, that wasn't getting power because this was filling up. So, yeah, only one amp of IV might be a bit of an issue. But we shall see. Um, basically, I just want to get this set up so I can get some IV machines and then almost immediately start crafting up the dynamos and energy hatches for IV. That is kind of the reason I'm doing this. All right, so I think that is all done. I am going to switch this to IV power. That should turn on that on. Yep. <clears throat> so that originally was connected to the EV power. I have I have redirected some of the lines. Like this line used to go off here. I have kind of moved it so it goes off there now. Um, and also I did the same with this. This used to connect to the line in the middle, but yeah. So. I think I'm happy with that. As we can see, the IV line comes down here and then we can start branching off to here, I think. That will be... I did kind of place that in the wrong spot, didn't I? <laughs> For what I was thinking I was gonna do. 
Yep, I placed that in totally the wrong spot. Let me, uh, we'll move that to, how about, how about here? Since it doesn't take a, a channel, it doesn't matter. All right, there we go. And then I can run that line off there. I do like when all the different colors kind of mix, though. I mean, how cool is that? Also, I don't know how people play without coloring their cables by tier. Like, how do you keep that L straight when placing machines down? I don't know. All right. So let me start getting the things. I think everything should be up and running. I think I probably need to turn on <clears throat> my clean room, though. That probably got shut off. Let's get that going. And I should have a bit of graphene. Quite a bit of graphene, actually. So I am happy with that. That'll let us get a bunch of IV components. So I guess I'll let me... I don't know where I want to start with this. We have quite a few that we need. Uh, some of which are not super easy to make um, but basically the dynamo hatch is the main one I want to get so we need the assembler for that all that we can do but we need like a cutting machine also we need to get IV power in there don't we hmm All right, just a random thought. <laughs> Can you like the cutting machine? Can you put more than one amp on that? The up or I can't remember. I know you can't put two hatches on this to boost it up, but you know how you can put like two energy hatches to bump it up a tier? Does that work with these? I actually have no I can't remember. So like instead of Crafting up the advanced cutting machine and then trying to feed it into my clean room. Can I just do... Can I do that and then... I might actually test that really quick. To be honest. Because we may actually... That might actually be better... Like it. That's easy to craft up. Yeah. So, oops. I still, I guess I still have to craft up this cutting machine. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I still have to craft that up anyway. But uh, would it be easier just to go with this so I don't have to go into the cutting machine? Uh, I don't know. What are the industrial cutting? Industrial. What's the things? Cutting factory. Alright, Talonite is one of these. That's HV. Stellite? All these. I hate all these alloys. EV? Well, we have EV. Yeah, I can actually craft that up. Or no. Well, let me get. Uh, what do we want first? I think we need... I gotta figure out what we need first. Alright, uh, just a quick update. Uh, I had forgot I actually need a bunch of tungsten. And the... Actually, it is... It's cooling the ingots right now. I actually don't need it anymore. It should pop up to 20 in a second. Yeah. Uh... The tungsten recipe, if you don't know, is super, super long uh, for the tungsten ingots. And I need these for the motors. So this recipe, unless you have this gas, which is crazy difficult to get at this point. Um, you're talking like 400 seconds. This seems to be the best recipe. That's 400 seconds for one. This is actually 400 seconds for two with EV. So I was like... 
I totally need a bunch of these uh, these hot tungsten ingots. And uh, so I decided I'm going to upgrade my blast furnace. So I upgrade. I threw another EV energy hatch on to upgrade it. So that is now running at uh, IV power. Uh, so yeah, tier IV. Uh, also, a little bit confused. I thought going from going from uh, this recipe, which is four hundred seconds, to IV. I thought it was going to be two hundred seconds, but it seems to be only running at one hundred seconds. So not not quite sure where that happened. It seemed to speed up, like. Way, way quicker than I thought. I thought it was going to be 200 seconds. But no, it seems to be... Seems to be only 100 seconds for that. So I just thought I would point that out. That was a bit funny. Also, uh, I when I started doing that, I was starting to have issues with power. And that is because that was pulling... The one amp of IV I was sending down, which I kind of had a feeling it would be a problem. It was pulling the entire thing, trying to keep these batteries full. Uh, so the A system wasn't getting power, so I was like, well, that's not going to work. Um, so what I've actually done also is a second EV dynamo. Um, and I am producing, I can now output two amps of IV down this line. This line can carry three. Um, so when that's actually running, we're going to be outputting two amps of IV down here. And I didn't even, I couldn't think of another, another way to get an amp out with what we can craft up at this point. Um, I'm gonna replace these with a four amp IV hatch as soon as I can, um, but we're working towards that. So that is kind of where we're at. We get two amps down here and uh, yeah, because that was definitely causing issues when it was pulling all the amps. But uh, all right, anyway, I will continue working here. Uh, I'm going to get the advanced assembly machine. I realized uh, the other stuff, I don't have irid iridium yet. So I'm like, I can't even craft these up yet uh, for the dynamos. So the first thing I'm going to get is actually this assembly line. Um, it's kind of crazy difficult. But uh, now that we have graphene and stuff, these electromotors aren't that crazy to craft up. And you need, you don't know, you need 10, uh, 10 motors for a assembly machine. But anyway, that is where we're at. So I'm going to come back when I get this assembly machine crafted up. I need a couple more IV. I think we need two more, don't we? Uh, so I'm just going to get that crafted up because we need them for the robot arms. And then I'm going to uh, get this quest, get this quest, and that will lead us into there. And then uh, we need to get into the, the platinum line again. All right, that actually... That didn't even feel that bad, to be honest. Um, now that I've upgraded... Once I upgraded this, I was like, oh, that's... This is actually pretty quick. And I have automated so much of this stuff now that, uh... Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Did I get all of that? Oh, that's cool. I get all of it. Um... So, yeah. There is that. That one I'm not really looking too forward to, but, uh... I, I think we get everything for this nope platinum cables don't think i have a recipe for that actually let's do actually i don't know how much but nope there it is probably easier just to manually input that actually I don't know how much platinum cables we're going to be using, but 
Right, we might as well do that. All right, advanced assembly machine. That uh, that really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I think it's because I have so much of all the the micro craftiness of it. <laughs> A lot of that is automated now. Um, like just being able to craft up IV circuits with, and everything's fully automated is pretty cool. Except for the nano CPUs, I haven't done that. But all right, so we got our assembly line. Now I do know this might be we might run into a bit of an issue if i have this running and trying to run a bunch of these machines um it may i do have a, the the buffer to help out with this but uh it may try to pull both of the amps and then that would fail and then we'll lose the items which i don't want to happen i'd rather those fail but uh, in the meantime, um, I will just be kind of careful about running these um, while running the Blast Furnace. But all right, so this, we had all this stuff crafted up. Couldn't run it though, because I totally didn't realize it needed this. These do take 30 seconds, which is a bit of a pain, but we are producing plenty of power which we are actually voiding some <laughs> uh this one i think is actually voiding the rest when the blast furnace was running were emptying out but this one unfortunately because i only can input eight amps this one is actually being kind of voided not all of it but yeah but uh, I'm fine with that. Um, also, we do we are using 8,000 EU per tick right there too to do this. So this may start dropping, um, which is actually fine because then we're not totally voiding our power. Let me just double check. Kind of fly over here, double check everything. Yep, haven't worried about that yet, but I think we're fine to be honest. And that's full. All right, let me finish these coils. We'll get the thing upgraded. We'll be back. Okay, there is the coils that finally upgraded our heat capacity. Boy, that uh, I feel like I set out to do that a long time ago, but uh, finally got that done all right cool so that means uh for one we can actually and i'm not gonna worry about this right this second but melodic alloy dust um we can actually smelt this now um and the reason we possibly want that is because these cables are really good uh, they hold four amps and one um, and then obviously, you know, two ingots give you, or one ingot gets you two cables. So that is probably what I will switch to once we get this stuff kind of upgraded. I use tungsten steel. I figured I can uh, pulverize these back down and uh, get the tungsten steel back uh, once I upgrade all that. But uh, yeah, so that is that. So the next part. Um, like I said, we are going to have to get indium, which I don't know. I thought there was a quest for indium somewhere, and I am not see seeing it. Um, because I believe these are required for, not that, the superconductor. Yeah, we are going to need indium for this. I could have sworn there was a... There was a quest for it, but maybe it's farther back than I realized. Well, just uh I guess I could do this. It is tier four. Ah, right there. I thought it was gonna be like a big 
thing. Uh, question is, I mean, it's not a question. We are going to have to do this. Um, which is definitely a pain. So I guess I guess I will do let's get indium. Does it need and is this what I want to do? I'm gonna have to get this at some point. Uh which uh is it? I'm trying to remember the, it's the tiny pile, isn't it? This is what we get out of the recipe. Electrolyzer, no. Chemical reactor, is it chemical reactor? There it is. Oh, you can actually do, ah, that's cool. There is a recipe for, you can do nine. You don't have to worry about the tiny piles. All right, cool. Okay, so that's what I was looking for. It's actually EV, yeah. So I need Svalorite and Galena. Now, I haven't actually touched most of my Galena on purpose. So, yeah. I, I purposely didn't uh, mess with that. And I believe I have Svalorite around. Now... I'm just thinking, I'm like, how do I want to? Yeah, we'll just, I'll chuck it in here. And then. Because this is going to be its own kind of process. This won't be in the main line. Because most of this stuff. Uh, will just be automatically processed. Well, I don't want that to be automatically processed, uh, but there is that. Now, the Svalorite also. I think I. S yeah, I have a bunch of that as well. I haven't bothered processing it because I knew I was going to need it. Okay, so got enough for. We're gonna do enough for three indium because we need that for the super conducting stuff. Now, unfortunately, we don't have this really set up to process this. Uh, it would probably be this will be switched to a large chemical reactor. Um, but right now we can do this. Also, we are gonna need a whole bunch of aluminum. Now, I have gotten it from processing other stuff in the past and the the miner um but this requires a lot of aluminum so i am right, we only have 61 we're down to 61 so i need to get that sorted and i think what i'm gonna do is um red stone lily seeds i believe i have one um that gives red granite and granite dust we can process down pretty easily into aluminum. Um, so I think I'm going to get that going and being farmed. I don't really like this here. I need a much better place for this. Um, so maybe I will work that out. Um, I do want a large sort of area for crops because there are quite there are a few crops that are like really really useful um so i do want to have a a big area for that all right so once we get all this indium concentrate and we're getting so much because um i wanted to do enough for three full indium dust so that is as we saw i think it was 81 galena and 27 Sphalerite. But uh, once we get this, then we can throw this in a chemical reactor with the aluminum. Um, now, did that need... That needs EV. Um, unfortunately, 
The one that I do have is... You know what? We'll just borrow it. I think we'll be fine. Yep. Uh, I don't have, like, a dedicated one, so I want to do nine. Is that right? No, that is not correct, because <laughs> this can't hold, that can't hold uh, 72 buckets. Hmm. All right, so that recipe will not actually work in a regular chemical reactor. I just realized that. That only has, does it say? I don't remember. What is it? 64 buckets or 16 buckets it only has? All right. Um. Well, that's a pain. I will just have to do the, the one until I get this sorted out. Um, which, as we can see, is quite manual at this point. <laughs> so let me finish this. We'll get all this done. Now, Yeah, I just don't have a large chemical reactor, and I don't want... I'm going to build one for this, but right now I don't want to mess up any of that stuff because that is all built for specific things. All right, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to um, because it actually turns through... Uh, it turns through four at a time, so that uh, that actually wasn't too bad. But we should have indium in here. Yes, there we go. Tiny piles of indium. Now I did, like I said, I did the three. Is that the quest? Oh, of course not, because I totally forgot to do all the other parts. <laughs> Actually, I just need to hold 36 cells of sulfuric acid. I'll go do that, and uh, I just need to run over there um, and do that. But... What we can do with this is the superconductor, and I did a recipe for that. Just some vanadium, indium, that'll get us the superconductor base. So that is that. I'd actually, you know what, I'm going to leave indium on there. Because I'm going to have to automate that uh, fully. So there is our superconductor base. And, uh, yeah, I can just throw that in there. I don't think we need actually anything. It just speeds it up if I do. All right. So let me look really quick before we... This is EV, 174 seconds. So wouldn't that half it? To, like, 90 seconds? Oh, I may need to hit this because I broke it down before. Yeah. All right, yeah. So that's down, that cut it in half. I'm not saying the tungsten is bugged, but that <laughs> did seem a little weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so we got that. We got our IV, first IV kind of machine going on here. We've upgraded our power uh, to IV. We've got our blast furnace running off IV power. And, uh, yeah, we are on our way to crafting up the next dynamo. But we are going to need a bunch of machines in the meantime. Question is, do we stop off and get the, the multi-block versions in the meantime? And I'm almost kind of thinking... Kind of want to, actually. The... Like, the multi-block for that would make being able to automate all those lenses. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that, though. But, uh, yeah, I feel like we did. We are definitely made it a lot easier to progress from now on. But anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching. And have a good one.